Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Keith Barker. If you and I lined up a thousand network engineers who are really good at what they do and we asked them, hey, what is the secret to you know your skill set? How did you get so darn good? You know what the number one answer would probably be across the board? It's experience and hands-on practice. And that's the tip that we need to drive home today as far as getting your skills up to snuff at the CCNA level, the professional level, or even the expert level. It's hands-on practice. So in this short video, I have a brand new Packet Tracer lab that I'd like to share with you. And if you're new to Packet Tracer, or if you've heard about it, but thought, you know, I really haven't done hands-on practice yet with this free tool, <laughs> I'd like to do a couple things. Number one is share with you how you can get Packet Tracer installed for free. And then secondly, how you can get this brand new Packet Tracer lab so you can practice with OSPF, Open Shortest Path First, which is a dynamic link state routing protocol. And also get your hands dirty with a little bit of troubleshooting in this lab that I've created just for you. So first things first, if you don't yet have Packet Tracer, the application installed, it is free. It runs, there's a version for Macintosh, there's a version for Linux, there's a version for Windows. And to get this free software, you'd go to netacad.com, which is a Cisco site. You'd sign up for a free account, doesn't cost anything. And then you can download the application called Packet Tracer, which is a network simulator. It allows us the opportunity to build networks and put in routers and switches and firewalls and routing protocols and get everything working and practice in a very safe environment because you're not wrecking the production network and it's also free. So netacad.com would be our first stop. Now the next step is, well, I've got Packet Tracer installed now. What do I do? Well, in Packet Tracer, you could start building networks or, <laughs> or you could take a pre-built network as a lab exercise. So let me share with you the details of this brand new Packet Tracer lab and I'll show you where you can get it for yourself. So here's the Packet Tracer lab and the goal for this lab is this. From this PC, which is PC1, so that's PC1, this is router two and router three, this is server three and server two. The goal is to have this PC be able to open up a web page at server two and server three based on the IP address of those servers. Secondly, if it's possible, I don't know, if it's possible, I would love for this PC to be able to ping the management IP address on switch two and on switch three, which is going to involve, uh, because these are layer two switches, it's gonna involve some default gateway information and configuration to get that working. Also, along the way, as you configure the routing in this environment, I would love you to use the most appropriate wildcard mask statements. So with OSPF, we use a network statement with a wildcard mask. So if we use a wildcard mask for a slash 27, that's going to be different than a wildcard mask for a slash 24. So if you're, if you're not at that point yet in your studies, just put a pin in this, come back, check out the master playlist anytime you want and pick up this uh, exercise and practice with it once you've learned those skills. But if you know OSBF, you have that experience already, I encourage you to take this on. Next, let me share with you where you can get this exact Packet Tracer Lab right now and download it so you can start using it inside of Packet Tracer. And you can download this from thekeithbarker.com. So the homepage looks something like this. And if you scroll down, there's a button to subscribe on YouTube. And that way you won't miss a thing. I have over 12 pieces of content every single month that are released. Packet Tracer Labs, live streams, quizzes, the whole nine yards. So don't miss out, click on subscribe. And then as we scroll down to the free downloads, here is the lab that I just created for us right now. It's this guy right here, Cisco PT for Packet Tracer more OSPF, more T-Shoot, which is an accurate shortcut for troubleshooting. And then I put this date, which is the date I created that lab. So you click on this link here, it'll download a zip file to your computer, you extract that, and that'll have the lab file in it that you can simply open up in Packet Tracer. And I've done another thing too, to keep this really interesting. I've injected some troubleshooting elements in this lab. So if we put in OSPF, like plain Jane, there's, <laughs> there's gonna be a few gotchas that you'll have the opportunity to troubleshoot and work through, which is all designed to increase your skills and get you better and better and better at networking, including OSPF and troubleshooting. So that's it. Packet Tracer is the simulator. This lab you can download from thekeithbarker.com. And the only thing left is the hands-on practice. So as you attack this lab or work with this lab or enjoy this lab, hey, leave me a comment below with what you learned from it or did you learn from it? Or if you'd like other labs on other topics, please let me know. There's also a separate playlist on the YouTube channel here for Packet Tracer Labs. So if you wanna sort through any that are interesting to you or you wanna dig down deeper into, those are there for you as well.
So have a bunch of fun with this hands-on lab, and I look forward to seeing you in our next event, whether it's here on YouTube or on the Discord server or somewhere else. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.